<laughs> what is up YouTube thrift school over here and we are walking into this giant thrift store as you can see it says thrift store right there there are no shopping carts left but we should find some cool stuff in here I uh, won't have a cart which makes life tough but you know we'll see what kind of stuff we find So I found a few things here. I already bought one thing up front because they made me. It was a brand new sealed video game. We have a board game right here. I'm going to make about seven bucks on two video games here from that lot. And there's another reseller here. Let's see if we can uh, find him. Where is he? There he goes walking down there. He has a little band around his wrist that he uses to scan things. But uh... I got the one up on him because he's looks like he's been here. He has his cart set up way down there and I'm still finding stuff. So don't let resellers deter you. I'm going to take a look through some of the sweaters, um, mostly for myself. But hey, if I could find one or two good things to sell, it's definitely freezing outside. So well, actually today's kind of warm, so but it's going to get colder. So we're going to keep looking and see what we can find. Um, let's see if we can uh, come down here a bit. Uh oh, I'm spying. All right, I just picked up another cart because I gave my other cart to an older lady here that needed one. She had a lot of stuff carrying around, but I was able to wait it out and I found one. So we're gonna go through some of these books down here. Since I never scan books, we'll take a look at some of these big books and see if we could possibly find one or two. So I just looked these two books up. They weren't on Amazon, but they were over on eBay. And uh, they're going for, this one's going for about 21, this one's going for about 30, 35. But these are both advanced uncorrected proofs. I don't know if there's a bigger market for these or not. What do you guys think? Uh, they're $4 each. If I could sell them between 20 and $30 each, that'd be great. But I just don't know if the advanced uncorrected proof is actually sought after, probably not. I mean, I, I really don't know. They both came out this year in 2017. I might take a chance at it. Uh, we're gonna have to wait and see what I decide to do. Check out these pants. They're 13 bucks, which is too much, but they're Orvis. And they got all these little hula girls on it. Check that out, it goes all the way down. Pretty cool, pretty unique, but I'm not spending 13 bucks on that, that's crazy. Guys, this is why you have to look over your stuff before you buy it. It's a Woolrich 100% wool, 13 bucks, which is crazy. It's nice, not $13 nice. And look at that huge hole right there massive i'm sure there's more on this 13 bucks is insane i don't know what this thrift store is thinking but i still found a couple good pieces of clothing in there i'll show you guys in a little bit yeah it's the late show it's kind of cool this one's only four bucks uh but i'm just looking through these i mean nothing amazing there's Thule. that's a car rack company five bucks um yeah not seeing too too much Nothing amazing. Now we're into the hoodies, which I normally just pass up on. I don't go through hoodies. Let's take a look over here. What do we got right here? This looks nice. Nice. Lord and Taylor, $4. Nah. Um, Martha's Vineyard. I thought that was Vineyard Vines for a second, but it's not. Let's see. Come on. We got to find something good on camera here. Come on. There's Brooks Brothers, 100% Marina Roll. Wool for six bucks. If you're getting that for yourself. Oh, look at that more holes there's holes all over that one so be very careful thrift stores don't check they don't care it's a cool tommy hill figure um frank and oak never heard of that Greg norman ll bean the prices are all over the place ll bean for 13 bucks and i don't know there's a club and be omniware eight dollars though that's crazy Crazy, crazy. The Polo 100% Alpaca. That's kind of interesting. 15 bucks though. It's a lot of money. 
that's kind of what I see at this thrift store and at most thrift stores around Connecticut. Look at that. Keep chomping, Irish Nation. It's cool. 13 bucks. Oh, wow. Look at that. Hunt Club. I don't think that's anything. Cool shirt, though. All right. Come on. Come on. What is that? Nothing, 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 nothing. I'll pop the camera back on if I find something, of course. You know what, we're gonna actually take a quick look. What's this? This looks kinda cool. Male duds, never heard of that. This is an old Chaps, Chaps Ralph Lauren Shetland 100% wool. Is it gonna focus? There we go, made in Macau. $5. Look at that cool old logo right there on the chest. This is actually really, really neat. But look at all those holes. One, two, three, five bucks. No thank you. Another Chaps Ralph Lauren hand frame, 100% Shetland wool, five dollars. Same logo. This one doesn't look like it has any holes. Could be cool. I don't know, we're gonna keep looking. Here we go, I thought I found something good. Robert Graham, 25 bucks. Insane, insane. Uh, still looking though. I'm trying not to pick up too much clothing. This brand actually does really well. I'm not spending eight bucks on it, but Psycho Bunny. I've sold it before for around 20, 25, maybe even 30. Uh, just look out for that logo right there. If I could get it for a bit cheaper than eight, I would, but eight bucks is like really, really, really pushing it there. Not seeing anything else. Um, yeah, so that's kind of what what we got, I'll show you the stuff that I have in my cart for clothing. This is only $6, it's Orvis, as you can tell. It's a nice zipper with elbow patches. I don't know, 30-ish, right? It's pretty nice. And then for $5, we got a Peter Millar half zip golf sweater. I do pretty well with these. These are like 30-ish, a little more than 30 each time. So that's why I grabbed those. I'm trying not to pick up anything that's $19.99 anymore. Um, unless it's, you know, a dollar or less, but they don't really have stuff for a dollar or less here. Now, I know, um, what's their faces? Rally Roots, Ryan and Alley Roots. They were doing an experiment where they, oh, that's a brand new with tags, but somehow the collar is all sweaty. Um, they were doing this thing where they're buying t-shirts for, a hey, Nat Nass, I haven't picked up Nat Nass in a while, 13 bucks, that's crazy. Um, they were doing this thing where they're picking up t-shirts for a dollar and putting them on auction for $9.95. And, um, you know, if they get bid up from there, that's great. If they sell at $9.95, they're still making money. If you could list a crap load like that, I could see that being a very viable option. So, I'm going to go take a look at the t-shirts. I don't think they sell t-shirts here for a dollar, but we'll take a look seeing if I see anything cool that stands out. Aku, A-K-O-O. Huh. Never heard of that. I mean, you guys can see the prices. Island Shores right here. Washable silk, $3. Island Shores, washable silk, $13. They're all over the place here. It seems like um, $15. It seems like a lot of their maybe new items that came out are all $13. So maybe they have a different pricer back there today. That could very well be the case. Ooh, this looks like it's really cool. CPO provisions. It's made out of this cool thick material. It's only six bucks. I might have to look this up because this is really unique. Um, if I remember. But I'll probably forget. I don't think I'm going to look it up. All right, let's go take a look at some t shirts. Just see what we can find. You never know. Also, I always like to check the uh, pink section because a lot of vineyard vines comes in pink. So I always check pink, but I don't see any vineyard vines. So yeah. Let's go check the t-shirts and see if we can find anything good. Like these are the prices we're working with. It's a Nike t-shirt, $10. Look at that. It's completely destroyed. I don't understand this place at all. Hey, there's $3 Malsamo. Not a $3 Malsamo. $2 for this random town thing. But I mean, the price is here. There's a Rock and Republic, $4. I guess that's not that bad. But I mean, whenever they see any brand that they think is valuable, like Nike or something, the price just shoots up. 
and uh, it's kind of ridiculous. Who's going to, except here's Nike. Wildcats Arizona for three dollars. That's not bad. If that were half off at a buck fifty, Under Armour three bucks. If it were half off when they do their half off days, maybe. But I mean, anything I found that's decent is priced way too high, or they're completely damaged. I don't know. I think we're gonna head out and go check somewhere else. Helmet for three bucks. All right, let's go. All right, guys and gals, we are now leaving that thrift store and heading over to Goodwill. And uh, gotta get out of here while I can. Okay, cool. We are out of there. Ooh, that place was a zoo, a madhouse, everything that you could think of. But Goodwill is usually pretty dead. They usually don't have much. So I probably won't walk out of there with as much as I did there. I only spent 37 bucks, surprisingly, which was uh, actually lower than I thought I'd spend. I did buy that brand new game in the beginning, so add five to that. So not too bad. Goodwill should be all right. I'm debating whether or not to hit up any pawn shops. I don't really know if I want to right now. And then I'm heading home because it's already 2.30. I have a few things that sold on eBay and on Amazon that I have to package up and ship out today. So only got two and a half hours to get everything done and I'm still uh, about a half hour away from home. So might not go to pawn shops. At least I'm hitting up Goodwill though. So here we are over at Goodwill. I'm gonna go inside. Definitely hope to find at least $50 worth of profit in here just to finish it off. That's usually what I find in here, sometimes a little less. So hopefully that's what I actually end up walking out with. I don't wanna buy too many little price things. Maybe two things, $25 profit each would be amazing. So let's see what I end up finding. Man, as a Dolphins fan, I want this so bad, but I think it's a kid's hat. It is a little small. It's not in the best of shape, but this thing is cool for $3. Yeah, $3. This is so cool. Sadly, I'm going to leave it. All right, so I found one item, and this isn't going to be a big profit maker. at $6. I'm going to end up making just about 12 as you can see right there. Selling for $21.73. Uh, so I'll end up making six dollars total. So I'll double my money. The reason why I'm picking it up is look at that rank 13,000 in toys This should sell super super fast pretty much right when it hits the warehouses at Amazon So I'm okay with grabbing it, but so far this is the only thing I found I'm gonna keep looking but I'm about to leave so uh, I'll try and scan a few more things if I can find anything So yeah, that uh, toy was the only thing I ended up getting. Ooh, will I get this green light? It looks like it's sweet uh, so the toy was the only thing I ended up getting and uh, so six dollars profit That's kind of what I expected in there. I really didn't expect to make that much in there I was really hoping I'd get fifty dollars profit But so since I was only there for ten minutes We are going to a pawn shop right up here see what they got and then maybe one more pawn shop since it's on the route back All right guys, so I am home now, but I did end up stopping at a pawn shop and I want to show you guys real quick what I picked up, I got a lot of video games. Here are all the bags from today. An insane amount of bags, obviously. I uh, gotta find the video game bag, which is not here. It's probably in the office, let me go look. Here it is, so I ended up getting all of this, not this game, just these for $155 total at that pawn shop. We got a PS2 Slim right here complete. Got a stack of uh, loose video games that they threw in. We also have, you know, Wii Sports, Wii Sports Resorts. Uh, this is a PSP game, uh, Ease or Ease, the Arc of Napitism, something like that. Uh, the Saboteur. Now, the reason why I'm showing you guys these games is just so you can get an idea of what kind of things sell. Barbie Dreamhouse, Warhammer Battle March, Halo Combat Evolved, Air Conflicts, Lollipop Chainsaw, Civilization, Army of Two, Resident Evil, Wolfenstein, Red Alert 3, Oblivion. Lego Marvel Super Heroes, The Walking Dead Game of the Year Edition, The Walking Dead Season 2, J Stars vs. 50 Cent, Blood in the Sands, Ace Combat, Assault Horizon. So that is everything I got. I mean, these are definitely good games here. I paid on average 4 to $5 a pop, which is high for some of these, but I'm thinking with most of them being complete in case, I should get a good amount of money on these guys right here. And I just want to do a quick shout out to Andre of the pawn shop where I got this stuff at, which is Brass City Pawn over in Waterbury. 
Um, he was there talking to me, hooking me up. I walk into this pawn shop and he goes, yo, thrift school. And I'm like, oh my gosh, somebody in this pawn shop knows me. But I was like, oh man, I already know you. What's up? And uh, he's like, come behind the counter. You could scan this stuff. It's all good. I'm like, okay, cool. So I just went back there and I started scanning stuff and we worked out a deal. So that is awesome. Thank you so much, Andre. And uh, yeah. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions, subscribe if you haven't already. This is Thrift School, signing out, see ya.